Hi guys, Dave's here. Well, my mom's hitting a milestone this week. She turned 75 years old. Jeez, that's a long time, man. I'm not too far behind, but 20 years behind. But uh, she's turned 75, and I want to make her a special gift to celebrate the 75th birthday and everything. And what I'm going to use is a piece of pine that you can buy at Home Depot Lowe's. Uh, this is a seven and a quarter inches wide. I cut it down nine and a quarter inches long. Um, I went ahead and sanded the edges here a little bit and everything. And I'm fixing to stain it here. But um, I'm going to make this. If you want to watch me make it, stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to stain it with this rusty old ebony stain. And it dries within an hour. So let's see what it looks like on this. It should have a good black tint to it. Okay, I've got me two boards here. I'm gonna do two, just in case I mess up doing one, I'll have a spare, so. After it dries a couple hours, spray some matte clear on it or gloss, whichever one you want. Okay guys, while the stain is drying and everything, let's design the project here. And I'm using Vector to expire. Uh, my job set up, I entered the width, nine and a quarter, the height is seven and a quarter, and it's 760 thousandths thick. We click OK. Okay, now that I've got my boxes made here, and now we need to, to add some letter and everything, let's start with the top here. I'm going to click this box here, and then I'm going to click Draw Text within a vector box. And I'm going to use the license plate font. I think it'll look pretty good for this. I've got my cap locks on, Ode O meter. Click apply. Okay, I want to I want to stretch this out. So let's uh let's get spaces. Nope. And there's what we want. Okay. Now I made a box down here. Are we going to put the days in? We'll do it the same way. Put days. Okay, now we're going to add some numbers in here for the days. We're going to click the same text in the box. Start off with zero, two. Seven, three, seven, and five. Okay, now we need to add some years here, so we'll click the box here. Text in the box. We're going to add a zero. I want it to be bold wide and stretched. Okay, now we're going to add seven the same way. Then we're going to add a four here. And then we'll click the box again. I'm going to add a five. Okay, now that we got the four and five in there, we need to move them. So with the five highlighted, let's move the five down. Let's put it about right there. And then we'll move the four up. right 
right there. Okay, now, okay, now we need to edit these right here a little bit, cut some vectors out. So first of all, we need to convert it to curves. Let me go ahead and convert this one to curves too. Then let me zoom in here a little bit. Over and get the vector trim tool, and we're going to start trimming here. Okay, that's the four done. Now go down to the five. And now we got the five done. Okay, now the ones we got are design here now we need to go over on the toolpath side and add some toolpaths to this and the first one I'm going to do is do a feet carve we'll just do it I want to use a 90 degree V bit we're going to do the odometer name this in big car letters let's do a preview okay and that looks good there okay now that we've got the letter done let's do the numbers for the year here now I'm going to use a pocket toolpath for it let's use the top pocket toolpath and I'm going to cut down 60 thousandths I'm going to use a 90 degree V bit and then a 1 8 of an inch end mill to clean up the rest. I'm going to do a raster. So let me choose these vectors. Okay, I'm, I won't, I can't do this one right here. I'll have to do it as a separate one. preview that okay now that we've got this part now we need to do the little part for the for the four so let me go back to the vector go back to the pocket tool pads now we just want to highlight that leave the same sentence in there and then we can do it Okay, one last step here. Let's close this out. Go back over to our vectors. Now I want to, these vectors right here, these rectangles here and here, I want to carve them out. So let's take the profile toolpath, go 60 thousandths deep, the same 90 degree V bit. We want to machine on the vectors. Select the first vector, hold the shift key down, and select the second one. And then click calculate so let's see what that looks like okay I think we're we're ready to go so let's save our files and let's go carve mm -hmm.